welcome and welcome back to Illuminate the Oracle. <laughs> Happy to have y'all as always. Hopefully you're doing fantastic wherever you are. And setting for the proper manifestations as you see fit, leaving as you see it. You know, if the enemy is trying to get to you, it's likely going to be through your mental, through your mind. So make sure that you are keeping it divine, you know, making sure that um, you're paying attention to where your mind rests, okay, at this point in time, okay? Um, so I attempted to record and <laughs> got pulled away. And so um, I want to tell you, three only pulled out here. So we'll clarify these. We'll go over and clarify these three cards. This is going to be collective love reading. So if that's where, you know, you came here for, um, or to came, come and hang for some good vibes, then darling, get cozy. If this is not where, you know, you want to be, then find where you belong. Um, yeah, let's jump on in. Father God, Mother the Divine, Archangel Michael, please cover me and my collective as we receive these messages today. Realistic messages of your highest vibration, messages that you deem for us to receive. Any ill will or evil energy sent their way, kindly block what energy back to where it came from. Bind up tight in their own delight to never harm anyone again. Amen. I see, I see. Okay. All right, let's get a swig of water first, okay? Mm hmm. Mm. It's my little gray streak. is It's kind of starting to do something. I wonder if it's going to, like, grow out more. Let's see. Um, so, anywho. <laughs> Woo! So, I have a, I did a reading that's going to be out tomorrow morning. And it's going to be about the holidays. I know the holidays are coming up, y'all. Make it work for y'all. Like, don't feel like... Sometimes holidays can get people down. Because I think sometimes we can feel obligated to things that don't really resonate with our souls. And so always make holidays festive for you what feels good for you do okay <laughs> um i just always want to give that <laughs> advice for people because i feel like that's how i started to enjoy holidays i i always thought i loved holidays i always loved the idea of them but the ways in which holidays would go sometimes were always at it's like i was like not really able to lead those situations in the past um i always believe in you know there being a vibe maker of situations people places and things like a good like hosts and things like people who know how to set the right vibes of situations and sometimes we're always forcing situations with people that don't know how to set the vibe of whatever they're trying to throw <laughs> and so you know what you know if the vibe ain't right and energy don't lie then always consider you come all this way to find a sacredness inside yourself. So now is the time to pay onus to that, I feel like. Let's go ahead and clarify. All right. So the cards that came out was foresight. So there's something that's coming up. Or there's something that you've seen already, okay? Be far loaded, be far sighted and alert. But this makes me feel like something is coming up. But it's something that you would have already seen. It's not something that would be a surprise to you. It's something you probably already felt to be true. Something you already expected to happen anyways. Perhaps it's an ending. It's time to say goodbye to something, okay? This, a cycle is over, okay? So y'all can ready to hop on a whole new cycle. This is the middle of the read, so we'll clarify this. And lastly, love affair. I feel like wherever you're going off to, it is love, but it's also work, okay? This says don't lose your mind. It says love affairs at work really work or end well, but this is not some casual encounter or some casual situation, it feels like to me. You could even see with the butterfly at the top here, even with the image itself, like these are these are two passionate individuals, okay? This is not just some random casual encounter like, oops, what do we do? I regret that. No, this seems like something that would be a slow summer. So maybe this is an opportunity that develops into love, that, that starts off as a work opportunity for some of y'all. Um, but it's something that grows here. This feels like, uh, yeah, blossom. 
blossoming, love blossoming. So let's go ahead and clarify foresight. First things first, I'm the realist. You know, something about let the whole world feel this. I don't know why that's an Iggy Azalea song. I don't know, child. Um, I think it's from her song Work. No, I don't know. Anywho, <laughs> family room. Mature woman at the bottom of the deck. Family room could speak of family secrets. It could speak of the things that you don't say, which is kind of convenient since we're kind of entering in uh, family holidays. I feel like there's something that you realize and discover with a mature woman. I feel like you've, there's this, doesn't necessarily have to uh, be talking specific, specifically about a mature woman. It just means uh, a sense of maturity, okay? Someone that's aged or has, oh yeah, because we're already confirming endings and the end of it ending of a cycle so this is the energy of my collective has grown from this from the past right the world energy it's something that's there's like a sense of a graduation whatever you've come out of is exactly what you need to go through to add to your seasoning darling and boy are you succulent okay ain't nothing like wisdom ain't nothing like allowing something to blossom okay Family room could also um, symbolize a move that you've seen. Whatever it is, it's a bunch of things that you've seen. Y'all could be seers, right? She kind of looks like a seer, to be honest. She's wearing blue and purple. She like signifies, um, you know, um, our, those color chakras, our intuition, our throat chakra. So that definitely speaks of heavily connected. A main female is heavily connected, okay? So this is, you know, my collective, you know, someone, th this, y'all going through some sort of change here that y'all have, um, the deck closed, okay? Yeah, it's time to say goodbye to something. I feel like for some of y'all, this could be y'all new situation, y'all new Living arrangement, it looks nice, it looks fancy, y'all, I like that. Can I come visit? No, I don't want to come visit, y'all. This is y'all home, okay? It looks beautiful, though. I like your flowers there. Um, <laughs> a whole new world. Okay, so let's clarify love love affair. It's coming out quite quick. Clarify love affair. Ooh. Okay, we got official person. This card almost, like, slipped away. This is someone that is a secret to you right now, or they're trying to keep, they've been keeping their identity uh, from you, something on the hush here, but this is a, someone with a lot of pull and resources that has an opportunity for you, something that you would have to travel for or go on a journey. This person is very well off. I also feel like this person... <laughs> Is coming to move you? This person could have staff because over here is actually a couple. So this could be a definitely a, a change up in someone's lifestyle, it looks like. Okay, due to a love affair, due to as well as a journey that's um, coming before you. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get some more clarification here. Clarify this foresight and family room for the collective. Please and thank you. <laughs> Shadow side. You made me realize my flaws. I also see Ace of um, Wands. So there's a new beginning for someone. It's something passionate, something that you love to do. Someone that you love to do, or something that you love to do, um, something that you have a lot of passion for. Shadow side could also symbolize um, Ace of Pentacles. <sighs> I 
So Shadow Sign also symbolizes um, rather you or your person or both of y'all have gone through significant um, healing and going through. So I feel like neither one of y'all are the way it used to be. I feel like also I'm thinking of like Snow White and the Dwarves and Diamond Mining. For some reason that made me think of this card Shadow Side. So I feel like when we, you know, dig through our shadow, not all those things need to disappear. Some of those things we need, okay? Some of the things that are, we can mine diamonds in our shadow sides. Some of the, it's like creativity and innovations. Um, something to help someone elevate. I feel like someone's coming to help you elevate as well. Maybe someone wants to change someone's perspective through an opportunity, through an offer. Ace of Pentacles could be anything. It could be uh, some sort of contract. Uh, it could be a marriage. It could be something that's physical that could be seen. It could be a, a lease, a new lease, um, a new mortgage for somebody. It could be anything. That's a contract. It's something that's coming to a main female. That will be a whole new beginning. Clarify this. Two could be significant. I'm saying two, one, two. Now I'm saying two, two, two. Now I'm saying 21, 22. Things are happening in divine order right now. You don't have any control over this ending, I feel like. Things are happening. Well, of course you're going to have control over whether or not you decide to go on a journey, it feels like. Lead with your mind. Use your intelligence. Analyze the, the data logic and think rationally. Mind power. And so that lets me think that whatever ending that you're experiencing or that you're going to be experiencing, uh, my collective, I feel like um, Spirit is asking y'all to probably be more head over heart at this time when it comes to different changes that you're going to have to make. Possibly when it when it comes to some of these goodbyes that you're going to have to do because you're going to have to listen to your heart. You're going to have to listen to your heart, which I feel like y'all have already, y'all already going to be ready to listen to your heart. But when it comes to certain goodbyes, you may have to listen to your head, okay? So people may even try to manipulate you through your heart and so use your head. I feel like discernment is going to be needed for this main female. Because something is happening faster than you think. Girl with a snake. We have the runner at the bottom of the deck. This runner could have um, ran from a girl with a snake. Or this runner could be... Um, this is someone that could have been in the energy of running because they were used to dealing with um, people with ulterior motives. And so maybe this person and maybe this person assumed that that's what they'd have to deal with you with you. Let's clarify girl with a snake. Yes, let's get this tarot deck. Being charmed or used. Let's clarify. This also says in boundaries. Maybe y'all have had to learn how to um, put up specific boundaries this, uh, by feminine energies or masculine energies. Maybe there's a feminine that, um, you know, stepped over your boundaries or, or, or led you on a journey of how to construct your boundaries. Clarify, girl with a snake. Yeah. Seven of Swords, Page of Swords. There is something, um, something sneaky here. Um, Seven of Swords can symbolize dishonesty and betrayal. I feel like the only reason, okay, there's someone, I feel like this is official person here. Someone's been watching you from afar to see how you move. 
They want to be sure. They could, it could come across as sneaky. But really, but really what it is, they're just being head over heart because they don't want to be duped. They're used to being, they don't want to be charmed or used. And so they're, they're watching you. I feel like this person could have been studying you for a while to make sure you were the right fit. And look, it looks like you are the right fit, Page of Cups. So this person could have to apologize to you about how they moved, right? Because sometimes when people are trying to study to how you move, they can start moving kind of funny because, you know, it's like, why are you in my bushes, right? You know, it's just like, this looks kind of funny, you know? But it's like, they could have been in your bushes just to make sure that y'all didn't have a whole parade of a, a, a gentlemen or ladies coming out of your place, okay? And so, in the effort of trying to make sure that you're not sneaky, this person could have came off sneaky. <laughs> yeah. Every step you take, every move you make, I'm watching you. <laughs> I always feel like somebody's watching me, and I ain't got no privacy. Oh. <laughs> Two stalker songs for one. Two for one special for the stalker songs. We got them. We got them. We got another one. Um, I think that's about it that I got right now. Okay. Oh, this is someone's. Oh, gosh. Here we go. Rather, this is someone of the past that you used to know. <laughs> I don't know. Or this is a past life. I don't know, child. It's Six of Cups. Whatever this is, it brings about a nostalgia energy. It brings about a nostalgic energy because this isn't the only lifetime that you've had with this person. I could have even had up to six lifetimes with this person. And so, yeah, they know who you are to them. Somebody could have taken a while while they were surveilling you. <laughs> um, somebody could have taken a while because this person could work a lot as well with the Ten of um, of Wands. They could have a lot on their shoulders, this official person, which wouldn't be a surprise, okay? Hmm. They got a lot on their shoulders, but... Well, we got two queens here. This person sees you as being very fine, very attractive, very fiery, very creative. They can see you being a little bit magical, too. A little unpredictable. That can also make them a little nervous, too. But that's not stopping someone from still seeing you as... The person they want to start a family with. You can see that in the Queen of Pentacles. The King or the Queen of Pentacles are all about the starting of a family. So, someone sees you as someone wants to wife you, right? You can also see something. Um, you could also see something financial in the Pentacles. Someone could see you as being someone that works a lot too. Maybe so maybe this official person wants to take this load off of you, darling. And um want to take care of you, or maybe the way in which you work is changing. Y'all could have your own business or do something. They see they like what you do here. Um, whether it's something that's of Something creative, something that brings attention, um, or even like a new look or a style that you're displaying. They like it, whatever it is that you're doing. Some of y'all can have a black cat. If not, y'all probably definitely have spiritual, um, a spiritual team of like a black cat. Y'all could be having a black cat that's traveling with y'all, <laughs> whether you know it or not. Um, okay. The moon card. I feel like there's moon energy over this. Um, look at here. 
here. And now we got the pair. <laughs> the king and the queen of pentacles. So we're talking about counterparts here. So people, someone had to watch you and study you for a bit just to make sure that you are who you are. And it looks like you are who you are. And so now there's an offer here, okay? This can definitely be like a marriage, okay? But whatever it is, it's shrouded in this moon energy. Cancer can be significant. Um, there's just a lot that you can't see right now. It's a lot secretive. There's a lot being held. For some of y'all, I feel like <laughs> this may sound crazy. Um, but if this is an official person, they could have already like put down certain um, like there could be people in your world that already know about this person. <laughs> I don't know. Because, you know, this is on like family room, which speaks of family secrets. And so um, somebody's family already knows. Of what's coming through rather this is your family or their family or both i don't know i don't know if y'all the last to know <laughs> and britney said no don't let me be the last to know don't hold back just let it go i need to hear you say you need me all the way so if you love me so but you said the last to know darling i think you're the last to know but oh well you're being watched. Let's see. What are they? Oh. Somebody's in their head. Somebody's in their head. Or someone could feel like you're stuck. There is this lens on ending. Your person could have observed you in a situation. And they probably could have studied you to make sure like what was going on. Um, for some of y'all, y'all could appear y'all could appear stuck in a situation. Um, and someone wants to provide a new beginning for for their person. But it would involve taking a risk or taking a leap. I also feel like someone's gonna risk, gonna take the risk. Someone's gonna take the risk. There could be something about this connection that is a risk or feels like a risk. Yeah, Ace of Swords, yeah. For this official person, this connection could seem like a risk. It could be, you know. But the thing is, with the Wheel of Fortune, it's, it's not a risk. It's within their favor. Um... There's some sort of a um, breakthrough. I feel like um, this person's gonna clarify some things with you with the uh, Ace of Swords. Someone's definitely had an aha moment about destiny with the Wheel of Fortune. That someone is their destiny. And if this person is your counterpart, Say this person is your counterpart and y'all are in a, some sort of dire situation. Can you imagine what that would feel like to a boss that is like a king of pentacles? Like, what do I look like if my person is um, in the, what do they call that? Like in the, uh, <laughs> there's like a term for, uh, I can't even think of it right now. In the trenches, right? <laughs> Like what do they what would they look like um being the king of pentacles over here and the person is over in the trenches while you know while they while they're not, right? Um I'm thinking of uh Whitney Houston song, um uh, My love is your love and your love wait, yeah, it's my love. It would take an eternity to break us. Um, not even the chains of Amistad could hold us. If I should die this very day. 
Don't cry, cause our love, it wasn't meant to stay. It don't matter what the people say. I'll be waiting for you after the judgment day. My love is your love, and your love is my love. It would take an eternity to break us. And so, yeah, that's how this person is feeling. Like, my love is your love, your love is my love. Also, my world is your world, your world is my world. And so, if your world ain't right, their world ain't right, and vice versa. And so, something is a matter of time, or something is, um, honestly, this this is this will of fortune is in the past position. So, something was held under universal timing. I feel like something that was held under universal timing is opening up. Yeah, because something is aligned. With the chakras here, a wish fulfillment is in alignment now. What's here? What's the six? Woo! And now there's a windfall. There's a, there's an alignment. Something is aligned to rein in with the six of pentacles. It's the card of blessings. It's the card of, yeah, a windfall. Someone wants to rain on you. Because they love you so much. You don't even know how much this person loves you with the Nine of Cups. This person feels like you are all that's missing in their world with the Nine of Cups. Like this person has it all. But they're stuck. If you do something to this person that they can't find anywhere else, it's not bought. It's not sold. You can't be replaced when there's not, no one that can do what you do. <laughs> You know? And I feel like this person's been holding on to you for a while. This person could have kept us in for years, you know, with the cups. Who knows? I mean, like, cups aren't, like, years per se. It's, like, months. So who knows, you know? Um, I feel like it's for a, a period of time. You know, it takes a time to fill up all those cups, I, I would, I'd reckon. <laughs> and so, yeah, this person wants to heal something. Um, Aquarius could be significant. I also feel with a star card. Not only, yeah, there's no one like you. There's something unusual about you with that Aquarian star energy. Something, there's a contract here, or something can involve a union. Uh, yeah, someone's been holding on to you. Someone's been holding on to you as they've always seen themselves marrying you. The hair find is also the God card, okay? So spirit is also all up in this. Um, Y'all get ready to go on a journey, okay? All right, advice for the collective. Let's get some advice. Let's do. This one will wrap it up. I feel like, you know, I feel like that's about it. I feel like whatever this is that's coming in, y'all already saw it, you know? So right now, we're just shooting the shit. Because <laughs> y'all already saw it. So we're just shooting the shit. <laughs> so let's see. What advice do we have for the collective uh, as it pertains to um, this whole new world? And it's ending. There's a truth. Y'all getting ready to be to hear a truth. Oh, there's a truth coming in that you can trust. Look at that. Let's come out together. There is a truth coming in, my dear, that you can trust. Okay, it's support here. Okay, you're being supported at this time, darling. Ooh, you're being supported because. This card says magical gateway. Okay, this card says it takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown. Yet, this is where the greatest rewards are. It's time to step boldly forward without looking back. And so I feel like this change is going to happen here. It's going to come out of nowhere, A. Eh? I feel like this is going to be a door that just opens up for you to walk through. And it's going to be up to you to 
follow your intuition and trust what is coming to you, whether or not to walk through, darling. I feel like you're being advised to ask for help. Tune in with Father. Tune in with your spiritual team. If you're confused, darling, okay? This is the era of following your intuition and nothing else, you know? And this came up in my soul reading yes, that's going to be on the channel tomorrow morning. What came up? Um, Snow White came up in that reading. And I talked about, like, how Snow White had, it was life or death. That's how the her story starts. This is the home in which you've always known. This is the only home you, in which you've known. But you're no longer safe here. And so you can either decide to listen to your intuition and your instinct on this transition as you are transitioning, or you could just stay here and not move and just push away your intuition, push away what you know to be true, push away your foresight, and just allow yourself to be eaten away at circumstance. And you know, what would, what would have happened to Snow White if she didn't believe in her intuition? She would have likely been taken out by her evil stepmother. She likely would have been killed. Um, so there's, there's something also here about not only following your intuition, being obedient to the message, to being obedient to the call. Same thing with Cinderella. Cinderella was given the, the blessing of going to an event, but only for a specific period of time. Now, if Cinderella was some entitled soul, she would have been like, mm, but I never get to go out. Can I get the whole night? Please, Fairy Godmother, just give me the whole night. Give me all night long. You know? But she was obedient enough to be like, okay, to follow directions, right? If that was the message in which she received, then that was the message in which she followed. And because of that, she wasn't embarrassed. She wasn't sitting there bucket naked, like, wait, where do my clothes go? I want it the whole night. I want it all night long. But no, she got up out of there. So something about whatever message you received, trust in it. Um, yeah, trust in it. And it's going to look different for everybody, darling. But no, this is a new beginning. It keeps coming out of support. This support card keeps coming out. This new beginning that's coming forth to you is going to bring a whole lot of support. And you're not going to question whether or not the support is in your favor or not. It's a whole new world. And it is your in your favor, darling. I also feel like this is also your spiritual courage with you as you transition to this new beginning. Okay. Um, some of y'all could be birthing a, a baby child here, giving birth. Um, this is your person. <laughs> this person wants to get you pregnant. It could y'all could be getting pregnant real, real quick if y'all have the ability to. Um, if that's not for you, then it could be a project or something creative that you're birthing as well. Um, or all of you above, okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, that's it. Until next time. Mwah, 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 mwah. Take care of yourselves, y'all. And love on yourselves. And make it out. Make these holidays and these, these days how you want it. If there's things that you gotta do, then make it work for you. In any in every way. In every way that you can. Because that's the only way that you can continue to give blessings to other people. Um, it's not feeling like, you know, you're like doomed to do these things that don't feel right for you. Like, I feel like that's the best way to, to zap away joy. And yeah, I know we don't do that around here. We, we, we increase joy around here. We don't zap it away, darling. No, no, no. <laughs> Not today or any day. Okay. All right. I love you. Take care of yourself. Till next time.